Police say she's been involved in violent crimes, and right now they need your help finding her. The Humphreys County Sheriff's Office says Lana Sims is one of four domestic violence and evading arrest. Deputies say Sims took off from a traffic stop and drove recklessly. Happening today, the public will have its first chance to voice their concerns after learning about big cuts to the WeGo Transit system. News Channel 5's Mo Hyder live in the studio with us this morning. And Mo, we're hearing this could impact hundreds of people. And we're updating you on that death toll as it comes out so far. Two in East Nashville where Matthew is, as he said, and three in Putnam County. And where Matthew is in East Nashville, we've seen the most Nashville things with people coming out, helping their neighbors board up those windows. People on social media are saying, if you don't have a place to stay right now, come to my house. Well, I have an extra bed for you. Come that way. So we're so proud to see our community reach out like that. And a little later, we're going to have that Sky 5 view later today. And it's going to be horrific, we know. We need to get straight to some breaking news right now. More than 20 people. People are waking up to find their car windows smashed at a Madison apartment complex. Not a way to start the day. And New Channel 5's Blake Rosnowski is live at the Breckenridge Apartments with those details for us. And Blake, car break-ins, they've been a major problem all across the metro area. But what's so unusual about this? Honoring local teachers who invest in the lives of young musicians tonight, Dirks Bentley will host the CMA Music Teachers of Excellence Ceremony. It's going to kick off at 7.30 at Marathon Music Works. Right here in Nashville. Well, people in Florida, they're typically more concerned about hurricanes, but they wouldn't necessarily leave their homes if a big storm rolled in. That's according to a new survey out by AAA. It shows more than 90% of Floridians are at least somewhat concerned about hurricanes this year. But more than 60% say it would take at least a Category 3 storm for them to evacuate. One in five say they wouldn't leave their homes at all. The 2019 hurricane season officially begins Saturday. Right now, the search is on for a rapist in Nashville. Investigators say a woman was attacked by a man when she met him on a dating app. This happened in the suspect's car in an alley between Joseph Avenue and North 2nd Street Sunday. If you saw anything or you could help out, please call Crime Stoppers. And these storms can get very dangerous, as you know, very quickly. And that's exactly what we experienced last night all across our viewing area. Let's get right out to Mo Hyder, who's in Germantown right now. And Mo, how are things looking right there? Because throughout the night, we've been checking. And I know when I came in through Germantown, there were just masses of people standing in the street, in the rain, in their pajamas, holding their animals. Well, that is heartbreaking to hear. We're, we're seeing a lot of that this morning. Mike Rose, great job with that. He was there as this happened. And he was there live a little earlier, right after that storm rolled through. And he had video of a family. It's one of his neighbors, and he's in the Nashville Symphony. And his wife was pulling his trumpet out of the rubble right there. So, you know, it's, it's not hard to forget that these are people's lives that are literally crumbling before their eyes, eyes and they're waking up, you know, about an hour until sunrise, and they're about to see the state of their lives. A teen from Mount Juliet is missing this morning. Her family says she's in desperate need of her medication. Take a close look at her here. An endangered child alert has been issued for Grace Scott. She's been missing since around 2.30 Wednesday afternoon from the area of Karen Drive and Bender's Ferry Road in Mount Juliet. Detectives used bloodhounds overnight to track her scent, but so far they've had no luck in finding her. Grace's picture's on our Facebook page right now. Make sure you share that so we can get Grace home safely. The search is on right now for a shooter who sent a person to the hospital with serious injuries. Metro police tell us a person was shot in the 600 block of Beltrace Circle in Antioch around 8 o'clock last night. There aren't too many clues right now except the gunman was in a smaller model silver Chevy, possibly a cruise. News Channel 5's Blake Rosnowski just pulled up in Live Drive. Blake, it's going to be hard for people to try to get around this. And a lot of times when people are heading to the airport, they could be running late. What's going on? The more we find out about this, the more terrible it seems. There's still a lot of questions out there surrounding the seven murders in Sumner County, but authorities do believe they have the man responsible for those murders in custody. That's 25-year-old Michael Cummins. News Channel 5's Mo Hyder's live this morning at the TBI's headquarters. And Mo, we know some of the victims were actually related to Cummins, but investigators still aren't answering big questions like why. Well, this next story is just unthinkable. It will shock you. Two elementary school students are accused of plotting a school shooting. The sixth graders at South Cumberland Elementary are now charged with conspiracy to commit murder. And we're told a school resource officer heard a rumor about a hit list and reported that. Investigators did not find that list, but they did find a hand-drawn map of the school and a plan between the two kids was uncovered. Criminal justice reform was a big topic of discussion last night between Tennessee and Kentucky's governors. They say it all comes down to changing the system. French police have released new footage showing that Notre Dame's cathedral roof has been secured. Take a look at it right here. Investigators pinpointed the roof as the starting point for that fire that devastated the landmark 
earlier this month. After looking at videos and pictures taken by local residents, police believe the fire started at the center of the church's roof toward the base of the spire. More than a dozen parents were arraigned Monday on new charges in the nationwide college admission scandal. 19 defendants, including actress Lori Laughlin and her fashion designer husband, face additional charges of conspiracy to commit fraud and money laundering. The two were accused of paying $500,000 to get their two daughters into USC. In all, 36 parents, coaches, and administrators have been arrested. At 554, it's an award ceremony that honors Middle Tennesseans who give their time and talents to help others. You may recognize some of the faces at tonight's event. Our very own Henry Rothenberg has been nominated for the Mary Catherine Strobel Volunteer Award. For when those details are released. But in all seriousness, I love to support local companies I, like that. So maybe LG in the future. I agree. When I wash a load of towels, it does this. It like jumps in the air. And I know <laughs> it, that that's not right. So anyway. You may have to go to space in. on that thing, too. <laughs> maybe. Well, it does all come down to today. 50 students will take the stage a little later this morning to try to win the Scripps National Spelling Bee. The live round starts at 10 o'clock this morning, and there's a break from 2 to 8 this afternoon. And then the final stretch is going to happen by the end of the night. The B will crown a champion, so good luck to all those competitors. $50,000 on the line here. And she brought a baby. That baby was snoozing. <laughs> it was out. No, you definitely need those headphones. And, of course, a big issue that we've faced in the past is the heat. Now, Vanderbilt says the biggest concern of their event medicine team is heat-related illness, mm -hmm. so they want you to be prepared this year. Make sure you drink plenty of water and limit alcohol and caffeine. Also, apply plenty of sunscreen throughout the day. And here's a good tip for you. Reapplication is more important than using a high SPF, so remember to wear light-colored clothing. And it's CMA Fest, so you might want to break out that cowboy hat for a little extra shade, too. That's going to be a good time out there. Most kids, guys, that means a lot of people are taking vacations and just aren't going to be on the roads as much. Yeah, that's great. And yeah. we've been trying to help you fight that summertime boredom. A lot of you love Top Golf. They have a kids camp this summer. Awesome. How cool is Love this? It. Registration's Ooh. open right now. Last for an entire week all throughout the summer from about 8 in the morning until lunchtime. So your kid can become a great golfer and have a good time. Wow. Like What's your age range on that? <laughs> and, and, no, it's uh, 6 to 12. Sorry, uh -huh. you missed it. it. And the most important thing much. is you get a break. Yeah. Yeah. Now, this is the president's sixth visit to Tennessee since taking office back in 2017. He came five times before. The last time he was here was back in November of 2019 when he was with Senator Senator Marsha Blackburn on her last campaign event before she was elected to the Senate. We are told she is on that plane with him, as is Senator Lamar Alexander. They're going to be with him as he tours and surveys the damage from the catastrophic tornadoes on Tuesday. We are here with Governor Bill Lee. He is beside us. He's to my right. He is going to meet with the president as the president lands. They're going to pull Air Force One up behind us. We have a congressional candidate with him right there. And you can also see behind them, that is Marine One. That is the famous chopper you see the president in as he takes off and he lands from the South Lawn of the White House. So Tuesday, Governor Lee contacted the president. He was in close contact with the president and asked for disaster de uh, declarations so they could go ahead and get those funds for people impacted by the deadly tornadoes. The president agreed to that. He approved that disaster declaration. And here's what that means. That means that if someone has been impacted by this, they're immediately available for some short-term, low-interest loans that can help them with things that were uninsured. It also gives them housing assistance so that they can get short-term housing if they can't get into their homes, among, with some, among some other things. So all that is the backdrop for what is going on with this landing. We just saw Air Force One land here at BNA. They're going to taxi behind us here at Barry 